Let me introduce myself. My name is TJ Smith, and my wife and I have owned in the Bluffs of Sebring for several years now. Because I work in real estate, I've been able to see just about everything available in the area. But when I saw the Bluffs, it was love at first sight. As a retired professional photographer, I found the Bluffs to look like an oasis in a place that no one would ever expect. Having taken dozens of my clients on tour of the Bluffs, many now residents here, a comment that would often come up is, wow, this is just what we expected Florida to look like. I still remember the first time I saw the Bluffs and how surprised I was with what I saw. The reason I decided to do this video is so that I might share it with everyone who lives in the Bluffs and be able to let those who have never seen this place enjoy the beauty and appreciate the lifestyle it offers. You'd have to go a long ways to find a friendlier place to live. The Bluffs of Sebring was designed and built in the mid-80s. It was built on a 25-acre plot of land. The lake takes up about 14 acres and has a beautiful 1.1-mile walking path around it, a great place for a morning walk. The drive around the Bluffs is approximately 1.2 miles, and all 248 condos and villas have a wonderful lake view. A very reasonable monthly maintenance fee just about covers everything. It covers security, all grounds maintenance, all trash collection, water and sewer, outside building maintenance, the clubhouse and pool, basic cable TV, and of course our main office with its very efficient staff and experienced maintenance crew. And from the pictures you're about to see, this community is kept in perfect condition. Now I'll try to make this video as short as I can, yet show you one of the most amazing, beautiful places to live in Central Florida. Some of you watching may already live here, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Since the Bluffs is a 24-hour gated community, you can only get into it if you're an owner, renter, or real estate agent. This is also the reason that even though most of the residents of Sebring know about the Bluffs, very few have actually seen the inside. So, let me take you on a tour. The Bluffs of Sebring is located on US Highway 27 North in Sebring, Florida, just north of Sun and Lake Boulevard. We're very close to the Florida Hospital. There you will see this sign and the Bluffs office is just north of it. Following the drive down from the sign is a gated entrance. We're going to start here and I'll show you around. As we drive through the gate, we'll head for the clubhouse. The first thing you will see on the right is one of the ponds. It's a nice place to rest and enjoy. A little further down is another pond. That, as you can see, is a good example of the care that is given to all the grounds in the bluffs. You might notice the letters B-L-U-F-F-S shaped into the bushes in the background. Just another sample of the pride that's taken here. Then as you look to the left, you'll enjoy the first glimpse of Lake Mary Jane. The first look, even when a visitor knew there was a lake, they never expect it to look so breathtaking. Heading around the bend, we'll start to get a better look at the clubhouse. As the pool area comes into view, with the lake to the left, one easily imagines some quality time that would be spent here with some friends and family. The person that designed the bluffs did not spare any charm or expense in creating a stunning area. We're now pulling up in front of our post office, library, and computer room. The library has a very good supply of books and magazines that you can simply pick up, take out, and return along with any new ones you may wish to contribute. You may use the computers available, or tie into one of the wireless that is available for you on your own laptop. Walking down to the clubhouse, you may see many posters of coming events, dinners, parties, trips, golf schedules, and many other attractions. This is a very active community. Should you choose to take advantage of any of them, you can meet many new friends and truly enjoy yourself. Rounding the corner of the clubhouse, you get a better view of some of the outside areas as well as the hot tub and shower area. As we step into the kitchen of the clubhouse, you'll see that it's been recently remodeled by the staff and residents who volunteer their time and talents. There's an incredible amount of talent within the residents of this community. Moving into the clubhouse area, you're looking at the bar area, also remodeled by the staff and residents. I've seen over 120 people in this room for many events and dinners. I'll show you a few pictures of them a little later. Walking back outside, we see a barbecue area around the corner, restrooms, and other activity rooms. 
such as a fully equipped workout room, a table tennis room, and of course a billiards room. If you are interested in any of these, you will not have any trouble finding others to share your interests. Moving down to the lake, the first thing you'll see is a pier and a boat dock. You'll find an assortment of casual used boats available for any residents to use. The boats seem to be very popular when the grandkids come to visit. The pier is kind of a focal point for the lake. Staying in the pier gives you a full view of the bluffs, a very special place to be at various times of the day from sunrise to sunset. On Christmas Eve, the pier is as stunning as you will soon see later. Fishing is also a big sport in Sebring with over a dozen great fishing and boating lakes around us. You can get in some practice right here in our own lake which is stocked with some nice sized bass. Many of our residents, including myself, enjoy the challenge of catch and release fishing. From here we're taking a tour with a few shots of the lake and views for you to see. Most of the two-story buildings are the condos with six units on each level. The condos have a choice of two or three bedrooms with one or two baths. The villas are all two bedrooms and two baths and all have either one or two car garage. We're now on the road heading back to the clubhouse with a view of the bridge from the lagoon to our right, another beautiful view. These buildings are villas with garages from the street side. This is a view of some of the condos from the street. Some units have covered parking with outside storage. Again, you can see just how well the yards, trees, and plants are taken care of by the grounds crew. On the left side of the street, we are coming up upon some of the outside recreational facilities. The tennis courts get a good workout. The outside restrooms, water fountain, and picnic table are a handy stop to rest during a walk or during games. This is also a picnic area. Shuffleboard is a fun sport for residents. This is a game everyone can enjoy. Bocce ball and other games are enjoyed here and what a nice place to have a picnic. And for your golfers, practice your pitching, sand trap shots, chipping and also putting. With over a dozen golf courses around the area and special low rates for bluff residents, this is a golf heaven. We're back at the clubhouse and ready to take another look at the aerial shot we saw earlier that was taken a few years ago. Now, looking at this map will make more sense to you now that you've taken this tour with me. Look at the clubhouse and the pool at the lower right hand corner. Starting at the pier you can see the 1.1 mile walk around the lake. You can also see the road that goes around the buildings. You can see the trees and tall shrubs that are surrounding the tall fence that surround the entire area that keeps the bluff secure. Security is a priority here and it all adds up to the peace and quiet of living here. Following is a series of additional shots showing some of the lifestyles of living here.
And if you think you need snow to have the Christmas spirit, take a look at Christmas Eve in the Bluffs. Look at all those little lights you see around the lake and the reflections of them in the water. They're candlelight, luminaries, every four or five feet apart for over a mile. They were placed around the lake by the residents. And look at the pier. I made the shot at Christmas card. Home sweet home on Christmas Eve in Florida. In closing, I want to thank you all for sharing this tour with me. I hope you've enjoyed it.